Hey everybody, welcome back to more Duke Nukem Manhattan Project. I'm still Negroth, I, uh, I still have the Seaful Penguin here with me. I'm not sure if you can even get rid of me if you wanted. I could, there's, there's just so many LP applicants out there waiting in the wings. So many Russians and, and Poles just waiting to ramble on incoherently in the background of my videos. Well, I'm sure most of them would make more sense and also bring in more demographics than I would. Icelanders are hard sell, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, that's it's a good thing about your accent. It could be anywhere. I mean, whenever my friends impersonate you, they make it sound, you know, Swedish. Well, you see, friend, accents are a thing that's just, you know, a way of talking. If you want to sound one way or the other, it's just a matter of thinking differently. And, and what, what do you think about your particular mindset makes you Icelandic? Uh, the fact that I am an international financial criminal if I wasn't a socialist. So you are an international financial criminal? Well, or... well I have a very funny view of things like money and heat and shit, because they're just there, you know? I never have to think about warm water or wasting it. I mean, I can just leave the tap running on. I never have to worry about electricity. It's cheap as shit. I don't know. Well, that's because of it. Yeah, well, that, well, you should probably explain this because of your, your geothermal energy. Yeah, it's just hot water comes out of the ground. You can use it to make electricity. You can use it to heat up the streets so that if, it's com if it snows on them, it melts. So instead of having snow plows on some streets, we just pour hot water in giant, in like, pipes underneath it. You just crack open the ground and let forth the steam? No, we don't have to, because it just, uh, the, the heat travels through the uh, tarmac, whatever the hell it's called. What, you mean just the road itself? Yeah, or? yeah, it's just pipes of hot, really hot water flowing underneath the road, making sure it doesn't freeze. Because norm normally tarmacs are used for airports. I don't know what it's called. Uh, my father well, is a actually was, a w when he was younger, he worked for like the national road making thing. And so he like has taught me all these technical terms for different types of things roads are made of and shit. I have no idea what they are in English. Uh, well, I mean, we have asphalt over here, and I, I guess that's the normal go-to material. Yeah, uh, I, I honestly yeah. don't know. But, I, I mean, I guess tarmac could work as a, as a word for it, you know. But, I mean, it is... Are, are there not very many, uh... I guess geothermal sites in the rest of the Scandinavian countries? Uh, you need active volcanoes for it, and there's not really that many places. There's, there's lots of places that have maybe some limited geothermal potential, a few hotspots. I mean, I know there's uh, one in Germany, which is the reason why... Uh, and one in Finland. But this is all like lessons I took when I was like 12 or something. Yeah, but since obviously, uh, as many people out there might not know, I, um, a good portion of islands are actually the tops of volcanoes that have gone dormant. Mm -hmm. And so. in our case, it's actually the, the volcano is due to be at the edge between the European and American continental uh, plate. Sh yeah, plate. I was thinking oh, shelf. Like. Yeah, I think it would be. Uh, I mean, it might be a shelf, depending on, I guess, how the plates rub together. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not uh, a really expert in geology. It's. It, we get taught a lot of geology, and a lot of genetics, because that's the two things that. Icelandic high-tech industry really knows, but I remember very little of it. And your deep love of aluminum. Well, a lot of my friends work there. 
like, and it pays really, really well, so they always pay for the pizza. Kazzy, yeah, I think you've uh, described it before as uh, mildly dangerous work. Uh, a bit, yeah. Because you were, you were talking about how one of your friends... I, I don't know what brought it up, but uh, you, you said, like, one of your friends just noticed there was a bunch of molten aluminum coming his way, and he had to... Uh, yeah, he jumped like, up and grabs onto a pipe or something. It was... <laughs> Yeah, it was an interesting story. I, I I remember being slightly incredulous about it, but he told me it was it was God's truth, and he pays for the pizza, so I'm not gonna doubt doubt his word. Really. But you normally, I mean, you normally stay away from the more dangerous work. Yeah, at the same time he was doing that, I was working uh, at like the architectural organization place for the city. Like they keep I mean, you, they keep hard well, copies well, of all the uh, architectural schematics for like all the houses in town, and I was just copying them, either sending them by email or just literally photocopying them, and sending them to people. That is a lot of fucking pig cops. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, there's uh, there's Dig Nukem going on, huh? Uh, yeah, this particular set of levels, this level and the next level coming up, are very similar. And, you know, I mean, they, they do stay true to the whole, you know, we're on, we're on a boat situation, except... Oh, I haven't fucked any mermaids. Yeah, well, the thing is that the actual look and feel of, of the levels just come off still as very much like you're still in a sewer. It comes off as, here's a set of pipes connected to other pipes via doorways. And to me, that's just a sewer level. It's... it's... almost plausible, I want to say, because some ships are like that, except it doesn't have any portholes at all. Well, I think this is supposed to be like a huge tanker, but then it seemed... I don't know, usually... Well... At the, uh, we were discussing before we started recording just like the actual perspective of the level because it seems like I don't know if there's supposed to be like a really big hold which is where our viewpoint is coming from because um, as you get down to the bottom here you can actually see like there's a little bit of a water level so I'm not sure if that's actually supposed to be like the interior hold of the boat or if it's supposed to be like, we're, we're just supposed to be assumed to be outside of the boat itself. But uh, just the, the overall perspective is really weird and wonky. And those completely right corners are just... what? Yeah, I mean it gives you the impression that this boat has like, it's an octagon boat or something. <laughs> yeah. It's just really fucked up. Yeah, I mean, it, it could just be that it's meant to be just a straight line, and it's just the way they wanted to design the level to well, give the impression of a very straight long line. Or it could be like an engine limitation or something. I honestly fear to peer into the minds of the men that made this. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, if you probably took a step back and just looked at the the map from just like a far off camera angle, it's probably just like a huge circle. And to actually assume that to be the interior of the boat itself just really doesn't make a lot of sense. So, I mean, it it, it works as long as you don't read too far into it, but then it also kind of breaks down because. This looks almost exactly like the previous level, and the previous level was... Forgettable. Yeah, very forgettable, very boring. It wasn't I mean, they boring, it just wasn't exciting. Or I guess it could be boring, it wasn't mind-numbingly horrible. That's I guess that's more the center we're working on. Yeah, I mean, compared to the, the previous factory level that was just way too sprawling and had backtracking and all this other nonsense, they don't seem to be able to reach a good, like, middle ground between, alright, well, we want to offer branching paths, but we don't want to have you backtrack through the entire level by throwing a bunch of arbitrary switches. Yeah. Like, like uh, I think it's just... two or three levels. 
But it is uninspired, yeah. like alchemy yeah. in Skyrim. <laughs> Red mountain flower and blue mountain flower. Ah. Yeah. Well, I, th I think just, uh, well, I think this is uh, yeah, level 17 and 18, which is quite, quite a high number for a Duke Nukem game, I'll, I'll say that much. But I think they... They honestly could have cut this game in half and still had a good game overall. They probably just they ran out of ideas. You and me both. You and me both, Duke. This crew sucks. Yeah, and uh, we're we're also gonna get another very dated reference whenever the boss fight actually starts. But first, we need to make sure we are very good on health, mostly because. I don't know. I don't like putting effort into this boss because this boss is really dumb. What the fuck's an XFL? Um, well, since we have been talking about wrestling before, well, obviously not in commentary, but uh, I think back in the early 2000s, one of the wrestling companies, the WWF, decided to start their own football franchise called the XFL, and it was like a multi-million dollar failure. So that's just a very dated stupid joke. Much like this boss, which is already dead. It was nice killing with kick though. I think that was well done. Yeah, and it left me with a good 400 health, so we'll see you next time for more Duke Nukem. Yes, later skaters.